Hey guys, welcome back. Before starting this lecture, make sure you understand about bubble sort by now. If not, try to watch the previous lecture again. Also, try to use the tool Visual Algo. Now, for this lecture, I am going to use REPL. So, this is an online editor which comes with a by default terminal. And the good thing is, I can create link for each and every implementation. Now, let us start our task. So here I have added a dummy function which basically do nothing. I have taken a list which is our array with 5 elements, calling our function and passing our array and then printing it out. So at currently we are basically doing nothing. So let us divide our algo with different tasks. So the first thing I think we should do is to compare our indexes. So I should create a loop and then inside that loop I should compare these elements. Index 0 with index 1, index 1 with index 2, index 2 with index 3 and follows. So let me remove this pass. And here I start my task with our first loop. So here let me take my condition which is for I am selecting our index from range 0 to length of our input minus 1. That means if we have 5 element here we are going till 4th only. Because after comparing these two elements we don't need the next one. That means this is going to give us a result of 0, 1, 2 and 3. Now inside this I should add a condition and compare both index element. So if 0 index is greater than index 1, I should swap. That's done. Now here instead of 0, I need to use index and here instead of 1, I should use index plus 1. Now if you look at this loop, this is just for iteration 1. I need to perform this for multiple iteration. So I have to add another for statement. Before that, let me try to run this one and see our result. Here you can see it is printing our first iteration and we now have 37 as our sorted list. Now we need to perform similar for our next 4. So for 5 element, I need to perform total 4 iteration. How? Basically with first iteration we will settle 37. Next iteration we are going to settle 29. Then next we are going to settle 14. Again 14. And then the last element will be sorted itself. So that means we need to run 4 iteration. So with this for condition, I am taking it from 0 to length of our array. Now if I run my code again. Here you can see we are getting the sorted array. But there are a lot of confusion that you might face. So let me try to add a print statement and see how many times we actually swap. So here you can see we started with this and then first we swap with 10 and 29. Next we swap with 29 and 14 and the next swap was about 14 and 37 next was 14 and 29 and the final one was 14 and 14 so we did total four swap in all our iteration i hope by now you understand how to implement this all you have to do is implement two loops first loop is to compare and swap and the second one is to take care of all the iteration cycle at this level our code is not optimized let me talk about one small thing. So let me first remove this one. And here if I talk about this particular loop. Now this loop has a problem with range. 
because after completion of our first iteration we don't need to visit the last element of our list and after our second iteration we don't need to visit our second last element after our third iteration we don't need to visit our third last element so we should edit our range because after every iteration our range should decrease so all i have to do is just simply minus the number of iteration that i did so here what i am doing is with our first loop the iteration will be 0 that means my length will be 5 minus 1 minus 0 that will be 4 so i am going till fourth element only with next iteration i am going to decrease it again and again and again in that way i am not reaching the last element every time i hope now you understand about this and you can implement bubble sort try to use visual algo again and again so you can clear up your concept and then with your own logic with your own coding ability you can actually implement them even if you don't remember any of these things you can actually create your own logic to build these algorithm because by the end of this course maybe you are also taking another course chances are there are bundles of algorithm and you cannot remember each and every small point but if you remember their concept chances are you can write your own code with your own implementation let me quickly run this one we select first two element swap them select next two swap them select next two swap them and select next two and we have a sorted array so this was for our first iteration then we jump on to our second iteration select the two elements nothing happened select next two nothing happens select next two and we have a swap again we need to jump on to next iteration compare them compare again nothing happened so that's how we need to focus on bubble sort i hope now you understand about this implementation and i hope this lecture was helpful thank you for following this one in the next lecture let us talk about its complexity thank you for following see you in the next one